Hello Year 8, it's Mr Wilson here. Today I'm going to test how much chemical energy is stored in each of three different foods. I'm going to do that by burning the food and heating some water. I've got three boiling tubes of water. They've all got 20 millilitres of water in them and they're all at 18 degrees. I've written down the start temperature as 18 degrees for all three of my experiments. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a pin, I'm going to get it nice and hot to help it stick into my food and then I'm going to put my food on the pin and the first food I'm using is rice cake as I'm sure you can see in my table. I light the rice cake on fire and then once it's burning I'm going to use it to heat the water. Now the burning is transferring the, thermal, uh, sorry, the chemical energy in the rice cake to thermal energy which is heating the water. When I measure the temperature of the water I can see how much thermal energy has gone into it. That burned up very quickly. I'm now going to take my thermometer and see what the temperature of the water is. Remember it started at 18 degrees. It is now, oh that's definitely gone up. I can see the temperature shooting up nice and quickly. It's now gone up to 28 degrees. That's a change of 10 degrees. 28 degrees, that's a change of 10 degrees. So there was enough chemical energy in the rice cake to heat up the water by 10 degrees. I'm gonna put a fresh set of water in and I'm gonna do the same with a different food this time. So I'll take another pin, I'm gonna heat it in my uh, hot Bunsen burner flame. Stick it into this time a piece of biscuit. Now the rice cake contains lots and lots of carbohydrate. We know that rice has the nutrient carbohydrate in it. The biscuit also contains some carbohydrate, but as well as carbohydrate, the biscuit contains some sugar and some fat. So it's got slightly different nutrients in it. We'll see how that affects the amount of chemical energy it's got in it. Wow, that biscuit is burning really well. And that's about all. So that's the chemical energy from the biscuit has been transferred into thermal energy in the water. That's a heating transfer. The water has warmed up. Yep, the temperature's rising quickly. It's gone to 33 degrees it's gone up to. Oh, look at that, that's very neat so far. At the moment I've got 10 degrees and 15 degrees for my change. So there's a bigger change in temperature from the biscuit. So that told me that the biscuit had the same, uh, had more thermal energy than the rice cake. And I'm using the same mass of all of the foods, even though the pieces are different sizes, I weighed them carefully. That's a control variable. Let's do my last one. I've got my last thing of water. It's 20 mils of water at 18 degrees, more control variables. I'm gonna take my last pin, heat it hot so I can stick it into my food. Now my pin is nice and hot, I'm gonna stick it into my last food, which is a piece of cheese. Now cheese contains a little bit of carbohydrate and a little bit of sugar, but it's pretty much all fat. It's a different nutrient to what we had in the other ones. So let's get that cheese burning. Yep, my cheese is burning nicely there. And I'm going to use the cheese to heat the water. Oh, it's fallen off the pin. That happened earlier as well. Let's see if I can keep it going. There we go. It shouldn't be too bad. So remember, the cheese has got lots and lots of fat in it. The biscuit had fat and sugar and carbohydrate. The rice cake had basically just carbohydrates in it. We've got the same mass of all of the foods. We've got the same volume and temperature of the water every time. It keeps falling off, doesn't it? It's because the cheese is melting. We all know that if you put cheese under the grill, you get nice melted cheese on toast. Well, that's what's happening when I'm burning it here. And that looks like it's nearly finished burning the cheese. It's going for a long time, so I think it's transferring a lot more energy than the others. And we're gonna see a big temperature change. 
we're almost done there. We go, that's the last bit of cheese burnt. And I even lost some of the energy because the cheese dropped off a couple of times. But even with that lost energy, they said, whoa, that temperature's shooting up. It's gone way past 30. It's going up towards 40. Looks like it's gonna go past 40. 44. I think 45 degrees it's gone up to. So that's a big energy, that's a big temperature change of 27 degrees Celsius. What that experiment has told us is that the cheese has the most chemical energy in it. So the most energy from food could come from cheese out of these. The rice cake has the least chemical energy in it, so the least energy from food from that. And that's probably because of the different nutrients that are in them, because cheese has got more fat and rice has got more carbohydrate. 